Hello all, uh, in this video we will verify uh, how to update uh, records at target level without using update strategy at Informatica. So basically when you are not using update strategy to update records, you will have to update the records from the uh, from changing uh, properties at session level. So to verify that we will create a sample mapping and uh, and that will will see how to update the target level records without using the update strategy transformation at uh, informatica so first to start with we will create a simple mapping say m underscore update staging raw will be our target so we can use at say countries so we'll just create simple map which will have simple source qualifier and so mapping is very simple over here we haven't used any update strategy we have done with the mapping creation we'll create corresponding workflow for it create the task so select the mapping so that will be m underscore update just link the start task and so basically when you are not using update strategy you have to play with play with this option the treat source row as insert up delete update data driven so when you are using update strategy at that time you have to use uh, you have to choose treat source rows as a, as data driven so in that case uh, it will consider the uh, consider source row type uh, source row type uh, whatever will uh, come in the uh, mapping level so or whatever uh, whatever update strategy will decide so uh, that particular source row type uh, will get uh, selected when we choose treat source rows as a data element. and in any other case suppose if we uh, choose insert so all incoming rows or all rows coming from the source will be treated as insert if we select delete then all rows coming from the source will get treated as delete and same for the update that if we select treat source row as update so all rows coming from the source will get treated as update so irrespective of the update strategy you will be adding in mapping your row type will get decided based on the type which you select uh, in between these three if you select the data given then at that time whatever the source source type which you which you specify are using update strategy will get selected so uh, as of now in the target table which we have created in the mapping we are, do not have any data so we'll insert the data first and after that we'll see how to update those records without using update strategy so as of now we'll first select insert we'll verify whether connections are so uh, just we have to note over here is when we are uh, updating any any record so at that time you are uh, uh, means if you are using update strategy in a mapping so at that time your target load type has to be a normal so uh, as of now as we are not using any update strategy we can select um, bulk load or normal load uh, we'll just select normal load as of now and over here we save the mapping so just do the excel sheet so this excel sheet will uh, depict the thing so uh, when you are uh, selecting source rows as insert our target rows has to be insert 
when you are uh, selecting sorcerer as delete or target color has to be as delete and when you are see, selecting sorcerer as target at that time only your uh, target rows can be one of these three so we will first choose insert uh, as first option and at that time we will deselect or rest all the other things and we will only select target row type as a insert just deselect rest all things and our property layer source row type is as insert we will truncate the target table before the load starts we will save them So we will verify how many records got inserted so source has written 25 records and uh, source has written 25 records and same number of records got inserted at target level we will just verify whether records really got inserted or not so yes there are 25 records what we will do is we will update this field 3 at in the field 3 in staging raw table uh, what we will do is we will again update this uh, target table staging raw so uh, that too without using the update strategy at, in, at mapping level so for that what we will do is so just uh, we will go through this table again so in case when we need to update the records at target level we have to select source row as update and the target row as update as update so there is uh, one point uh, I will mention that in case if you are selecting uh, update at, as a source row and update as insert and update, update else insert so in these two options you also have to select uh, or check insert if you don't do it what will happen is you are eventually you are mapping or you are uh, uh, records will go to the records will get rejected so we'll first uh, verify how to or we'll first first check uh, how to update the records and after that we'll check these two options so for for, for that we'll change the source row type to update and uh, target oil will select as update as update so over here at target level of our uh, field 3 is 0, 0 so uh, ultimate results we are expecting is this field will have some value other than 0 so to do that what we will do is we will first uncheck the truncate table option properties level instead of insert we will change this to update and at uh, target level instead of insert we will change, change that change that to update as a we will save the records and the workflow So here mapping got suc uh, completed successfully, so size return 25 records and target level also we can see 25 rows got affected. So we will verify whether those 25 rows got inserted or those got updated. So 
so target level there are total 25 records and field 3 is field 3 is having a value other than 0 so this means that the records got really got updated without using the update transformation uh, update strategy transformation so what we'll do is at uh, source level we'll add some more records so let's start from source is contains totally 27 records at source level and uh, 25 records at target level so what we'll do we'll run same mapping and we'll see whether uh, these two records will get inserted at target level or not so Showing that 27 records got uh, got read by uh, Informatica level, but only 25 records got updated. So we'll verify the count at target level again. So there are only 25 records. So these two records which we have added recently haven't got inserted at target level. So what we'll do is to insert those records, our source type is as update so what we'll do we'll change the target at target level we'll check update else insert so this means that if particular record is not exist at update uh, at target level just insert that particular record we have just we have just checked this thing and uh, we'll see whether records are getting inserted or not So if you can see 27 records got traded by Informatica again but all 27 records got uh, went as a rejected route. So as I, as I had mentioned earlier when you are selecting update as insert or update as insert so in that case you also have to select insert or you have you also have to check mark the check the insert insert mode. so we'll do that again and we'll run the mapping so we'll check the insert box So if you can see there are not a single record got rejected, 27 records got inserted, uh, 27 records got read by Informatica source qualifier and same number of records got affected. We will see whether two new records got inserted or not. So there are totally 52 records at target level. So what had happened is all, all records 
got inside a update as insert so see as we have checked it as update as insert all records which were which was having all records as all records got inserted got inserted instead of getting updated so that's the reason earlier 26 records earlier 25 records and new 27 records so eventually the total will be 52 records so same number of records you can see at target level so uh, this is how you will be uh, updating or inserting uh, records at target level without using update strategy so uh, the question comes in our mind is if, if you can insert or update records without using the update strategy why we really require update strategy at mapping level so uh, reason to use update strategy at mapping level is over here we are just inserting or updating uh, incoming records without uh, or without based on any particular criteria so when you really have to update any particular record based on the uh, based on that record value so at that time you really have to use update strategy at mapping level otherwise you can insert or update records just by manipulating or just by changing these these two values uh reach source record and at the same time the target level property thanks for watching this video